सब्सक्राइब करिए शॉर्ट एंड डिक्टेशन चैनल को और दबाइए इस बेल आइकन को ताकि आपको मिले लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स बी रेडी फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट मिस्टर चेयरमैन वेन द हाउस रोज यस्टरडे आई वॉज डीलिंग विद द क्रिटिसिजम एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग कंडेमनेशन मेड बाय माय ऑनरेबल फ्रेंड डॉक्टर कुंजरू अगेंस्ट द कंडक्ट ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स व्हेन दे गॉट आउट फॉर इलेक्शन कैंपेन ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ देयर पार्टी कैंडिडेट्स द लैंग्वेज ही यूज्ड वाज ऑफ कोर्स स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड इट इज ओपन टू एनी मेंबर टू यूज सच लैंग्वेज एज ही कंसिडर्स प्रॉपर बट I am constrained to say that on this occasion the quantum of his criticism and the language which he used was not only uncharitable but even ungraceful he went to the length of not only suggesting but also specifically accusing the ministers of being dishonest in as much as they tried to invent some government business so that they might be able to travel at government expenses and with high government officers the charge that he leveled against the ministers was threefold firstly they invent some business whereas the primary consideration with them is to carry on an election campaign secondly they go about in government cars and their tour expenses are debited to the government account and thirdly they use the police officers and the magistrates to help them in connection with the elections the third is of course by implication then sir he has said something more than what i thought him to have said i had said that it was only by implication now it was not only by implication but he says that he really meant it and he found the police officers and the magistrates helping the ministers in organizing meetings well sir so far as his personal knowledge in this respect is concerned i will not be so bold as to say that it is not correct for i have always held dr kunzru in very high esteem ever since my college days therefore so far as his personal knowledge of anything is concerned i would not dispute it though i might say that my personal experience in this respect has always been otherwise possibly on some one occasion it may have been a different matter when dr kunzru saw it well the police officials are of course there sometimes some magistrate is also there particularly when our honorable prime minister goes about on an election campaign or for that matter wherever he goes and that is necessary for security reasons i hope that all the persons dr kundru would not like that proper security measures should not be taken when our prime minister goes out sir yesterday i pointed out one unhappy incident of the very recent past when our prime minister went somewhere in madhya pradesh i suppose and when somebody sprang upon him in order to attack him therefore sir it has been found necessary always to take all the necessary precautionary measures when the prime minister goes about or when the other important minister go about sir the second thing that he said was that they go about in government cars it is indeed an astounding proposition coming as it does from dr kunzru but i am sure even he would not say that he has seen any minister going about in a government car when on an election campaign the ministers surely all of them at the center at least have their own cars of course they lent 
money by the government but then they have to pay it back in installments and the wear and tear thereof is all being borne by the ministers themselves. So I fail to see where the question of a government car comes in. Then sir he has said that the expenses are all debited to the government account. I wish before making such a statement he had made his proposition sure about it. Has he any basis for it? Surely this is not correct. I say that it is absolutely incorrect. Our Prime Minister whenever he goes out not only on an election campaign but on any Congress business the entire expense of his tour and travel are borne by the Congress or by the Prime Minister himself. In the year 2012 when he went round the country on the election campaign every single rupee of the expenditure was borne by the All India Congress Committee. This news may be a little discomforting to Dr. Kunzru but then here is the fact. Whenever he went on such a business the charges were borne by the All India Congress Committee. Whenever he went on plane, the charges were borne by the All India Congress Committee, the halting charges for instance and all the travelling expenses not only of himself but also of anyone of his colleague if he happened to be with him. That is so not only in the case of the Prime Minister but even in the case of other ministers. Whenever they go out on Congress business, they are sent out by the Congress committee and their entire expenses are borne either by the All India Congress committee or by the ministers themselves. Only the other day, Sri Jagjeevan Ram went to Agra. It is a very recent instance, only about a couple of months ago. He went there on election business and not only a rupee of that travelling expense was debited to the government account. All that expense was borne by the Congress. When Sri Jagjeevan Ram went to Andhra Pradesh during the election campaign there, all the expenses incurred by him were borne either by the Congress party or by Sri Jagjeevan Ram himself. Sir, here are some specific instances which I am giving. I would however like to know from Dr. Kunzru whether he can substantiate his charge by anything definite. Let it not be documentary but let him at least prove it by his personal knowledge. If he says that I will be prepared to admit that on some occasion it may have been so. But has he got personal knowledge with respect to even one single instance?